Hey guys, um, Jesse here. Just want to give a quick demo of uh, the latest of the Lazy series. In this case, it's Lazy NPM. Um, I'm just going to open it here in a... Uh, I'll probably give you a better example of how this works. So let's say that I'm in a like a npm package, meaning that I'll have a package JSON file here. If I go open lazy npm, um, what we see is a few things. We've got a packages panel, um, gives me up in this panel here a description of what it is, who made it, what the version is, um, and then any other packages that you might have opened previously in the app. Uh, in this case, I've opened three other guys here. Um, shows you a list, list of dependencies and it shows you the lists of uh, the list of scripts for this package. So in this case with Express, um, clearly my node modules is empty because I've only just recently cloned this repo. So if I press I here, it'll do an npm install. And what I should expect to see is all my dependencies get installed, which they have. Um, so that's pretty cool. Now, let's say that one of these dependencies actually um, you know, I want I wanted to downgrade debug to version one. I can just go edit here, change this to 1.0.0, and now it's telling me that it is ahead. So if I install this now with I, um, that is now 1.0.0. If I change it again, back to whatever it was, 2.6, I think. Now it's behind, press install, and there you go, 2.6, that's pretty cool. Um, these things can be done completely independently, so I can just do have two things running simultaneously here. Um, if I want to cancel something, I just press Z, um, and it shows a little icon at the left here what the status of the um, program was. If I want to run a script, for example, testing, I can just press space, and if you want to add stuff here, you can, but in this case, I'm just going to go enter, and there you go, running here for tests. So that's pretty cool. Um, you can go in here and you can kind of page through the results. Um, uh, if it asks for input, you can also give input, um, but I can't really find an example of where that uh, is required for one of these things. Um, if you want to link a package, um, you just press L. So in this case, I can see that Express has Array Flatten and Accepts as dependencies. So I can just go to my Array Flatten package here and press L and it will link it. Um, if it isn't already linked to the global NPM like path, uh, it'll just do that first. Um, what else? Some cool things you can do. Sometimes uh, linking won't cut it. I'm just going to install this again. Sometimes linking won't cut it. Um, I've had examples where you need to actually like use an npm pack to put something into your actual uh, folder in case it needs to be using like a Docker context where you're not allowed to link outside of that folder. In that case, you just go up to one of these guys and press, I think it's P? Yeah, npm pack. Um, and by the way, just to view these commands, just press X and you can see all the different things here in the menu. Um, so let's just pack that and now it shows up as a tarball in my express directory. So if I press I on this guy, that's going to install that tarball. And then lo and behold, this thing now says that it's uh, matching on that tarball. That's pretty cool. Um, what else is there? I think that's the gist of it. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool things you can do with it. You can obviously check out other packages. So if I want to have this guy that links, you know, array flatten and accepts, and I want to have array flatten that links prettier, for example, I can do that and I can swap between them. Um, uh, the current pack is the one where like the current directory is shown as the guy at the top with the asterisks. Um, uh, but yeah, it's pretty cool. It's useful to just go through dependencies for a given package and just find out like, you know, what actually does it mean? What does fast glob do? Well, it's a very fast and efficient glob library for Node. Um, so yeah, um, you can also, for example, uh, dev dependencies are shown in green. So for example, Babel core, if for whatever reason I wanted to change that to a regular dependency, I could press T and then select a new type and um, it'll just do an npm install with save prod. So whenever it runs a command, it will just show it up here. And then um, now that that's done, it's a regular dependency. Um, so that is the gist of it. Um, it's kind of early stages. I just made this over the weekend. So any you know uh, suggestions for improvements, I'm all ears. Um, but uh, thanks for watching. Until next time.